Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Nice. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Now you can see me, right? Uh, yeah. Can you? I can't no. see you. No. No. Uh, I can't see myself either. Turn on the light. <laughs> that's that's a that's a nice suggestion. But I think I okay. I got a problem here fixed. All right. Okay. And now? No. Um, no. No. Okay, there we go. Yes, the, light, let the lights work off. Okay. Oh. Good. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Okay, thank you. How are you today, guys? Good? Fine. Good. Good. Right. Fine. Good. Great. Sounds, you know, like if you had a good day. Did you? Yes? Yeah. Okay, yes. good. Well, today we have a little bit of the simple tasks, and then we have the also the uh, past tense by using used to, right? Things that, that we used to do in the past, but somehow we have stopped practicing or doing now. Uh, I would just uh, recommend you to turn off your your mics, your microphones, right? While you are when you are not participating, so that the noise of the background noise doesn't interfere with the class. Okay, please. Okay. Uh, mute, mute all your... Your microphone. All your mics, uh -huh. you can say mics, microphones. Okay, I, the, the abbreviated form is mic. Okay, so you can say turn off the mic or okay, or turn on your mic. Uh, and then, yes, then we can, when you're going to participate, you just activate it and you go ahead. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. Now let's see. I have uh, some things to show you today. Let's see. How about testing your memory? We're going to start with a little game. Okay. Easy game for children, right? But this is just for you to activate your memory. Okay. Uh, what do you see? Can you read the the instruction here? Uh, let's see, Fer, can you please help me? Yeah. Memory, uh, the, the screen say memory game irregular verbs. Okay. Okay, probably you know the verbs and then uh, I will, you know, uh, what I'm gonna do is I will be flipping, right? Uh, to say I would be flipping this, and then you yeah. have to see, for example, to re to remember which is the where is it, right? For example, what is the past? The, the this is the past or present? Past. Past. Of what verb? Think. The thing. Okay, so then if you when we find think, then you let me know, okay? Okay. If you see a match, let me know. Okay. Okay. Yes, you. Think. Okay. Think. You? Okay. Well, huh, first think. Uh, think. Where is the other? The past tense. Oh. oh. The, first. Oh. the first. Okay. First. All right. Good people. We have the first one. Okay. Somebody who said new. The first one. What is new? New. Who said that? Anna. No. Anna. 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 What is no. new? No. Anna. What is it? The uh, the. The next. Thing? The, next thing? I, the next. Beside think. Next to think here. Next to think. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the present. An app. It's up. It's up. 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 Here. Thank you. Here. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, what is it? It must be around here. Tell me. The first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, or the sixth? The fifth. 
That's it. That's it. Yeah. Ah, nah. Nah. Okay, yeah. let's let's take second. Go. Second. Feel. Second. The second. Yes. Okay. Second and. Uh, Next to uh, yeah. Next to say. Okay. Um, very good. Excellent. I saw feel another. Felt. You saw another. Who saw another? Me first. Uh huh. Which Next one? To think. Next to thing. Next to thing. Yeah. Yeah. Feel. And down of feel is felt. Here. Yeah. Below. Below. Feel felt. Okay. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Anybody else? No. No. Okay. Uh, cuarto, ¿cómo se dice cuarto? How to say cuarto, fourth. Fourth. Up, new. Four. Up. 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 Above, above new. Above new. Uh -huh. Next. 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 Next to no. fell. No. In the, the corner. In, no, in the in the left. On the left. On the left. Here. Uh, no. No, I think it's in the corner. The next new. Yeah. Eh? Here, next to new. Found. 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 No. And. Is is. What is fine? Uh, oh, I got it. <laughs> Unconsciously. Okay, good. Another one. Go away. Sit. Okay, I. Uh huh. Go. Now. Next to fell. Next to fell here. Yeah. And then about to fell. In the same line, a, a, a fifth square. Mm -hmm. One, third, second, third, fourth, fifth here. Yeah. Oh, okay, very good. Excellent. Another one. I'll go east in the second row. The okay. third one. And then the first row and the last one. Go when. Yeah, very good, excellent. Another one. I'll show you. Uh, in the finally. At the end here. Yes. The last one. Yes. No. Say. Um, Say in. Sure. The the third one here. Oh, the next. Here. Yes. No. 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 Okay. Yes. <laughs> In my case, is after the fell. After. After felt. After felt. Okay. And then after found. And then after found. Okay, very good. Fine, excellent. Another one. See. In the fourth square at the first line. Okay, here first. Fourth. Fourth. At. And next to C. Next to? Next to C at the at the right. Here. Uh -huh. here. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And you see here uh -huh. the past tense of seat is sat. For example, he sat on the sofa. You can see some examples. Uh -huh. What else? Only two. Two more. Next to where to sat? Next to set, May. And next to take. And next to take. Very good. The past tense of make is make. For example, Sarah made a cake for her boyfriend's birthday. Boyfriend's birthday. And obviously, set and say. Okay. Okay, good. Right, so this is the result. We have, uh, well, you say you found 18, 18 uh, all the matches, 18 minutes. Now, this is before because I 
I opened the site before, right? So the time is not real. Okay. But we have the Okay, now we have, for example, what is the, we have thought, think, okay, thought, think, know, knew, said, say, find, found, went, go, so, see, feel, felt, know, knew, uh, what else, uh, with, uh, take, took, uh, sit, sat, Take tour. Take uh, tour. First look. Okay. Finally, second. Oh, oh yes, here, here. Thank you. Take then look. Uh, make and make. Right. So you know this is a nice way to you know to practice. Uh, I'm happy with the dog. With uh, with with all the verbs, right? Okay. Good. Now we have another one. Can you see this one? Yes. You saw the change, right? Yes. Okay, now we are in a different place. Now we have, all you have to do is to, oh, thank you, not for the meantime. Okay. For example, you see this sentence are a scramble, right? They are mixed up. Okay, uh, let's see here we have, we're gonna use Ada. Can you tell me the first sentence? I be at the cinema last night. What is the correct answer? I was at the at the cinema last night. Okay, correct. I was at the cinema last night. Okay, third, number two. The children were, uh, no, no, sorry, it's a question, sir. Were the children out? What? Was naughty the children? Okay, children be naughty. No question. Uh huh. Were the children naughty? Were the children? Yes. Were the children naughty? Naughty. Okay. Naughty, right? Yes. Misbehave. Behave in a bad manner. Okay. Misbehave. Okay, Fernando. First, number three. Number three. Uh, we be in a we were, no, were we in a coffee when you called? When in a cafe, when you called? Were we in a cafe when you called? I read, I read cafe in Spanish, but I yes. translate. No, it's correct. I mean, cafe in English is the place, and uh -huh. coffee is the what, you, what we drink, okay? Coffee is what we drink here, right? Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Next, uh, let's see. We have Carlos Ramos. Number four. Number four. Uh, was, uh, sorry, question. Was I late? I was? Was I late? Was I late? Okay. There yeah. you go. Very good. Excellent. Alexis. Number five. Hello, Alexis. Keep, keep the dog quiet, okay. okay? We can have a virtual bite. Okay, Alexis, no? Okay, Ricardo, okay, Alexis, uh-huh. No. Alexis? No, it's not there. Okay. Then number six, Ricardo. Number six? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, 
the answer or the question? It's a question. Uh -huh. It's a question. You put this question in the correct order. Where we be? What is the correct form in past tense? Uh, where we be? Mm -hmm. This is incorrect. Now, how we put this incorrect in the correct order and the correct form of the verb? Uh, where, where were we? Exactly. Okay. Where were we? Where were we? Okay. Watch out with the microphone. Turn off your mic. Okay. Um, who else? Mariela? Number Wait. seven. Uh, yes. Uh, this is number five. Huh? Was? Uh, number five. Oh, yes, yes. I skipped number oh. five. Sorry. Uh, number five. She was a teacher when she was young. She was a teacher when she was young. When she was young. Yes, I skipped that one. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. She was. Uh, number six. Uh, yeah. Number seven. No, seven. Okay, Javier, number seven. Number seven. Seven, yes. Uh, were you okay? Were you okay? Yes, I was. Okay, Elena, number eight. We were too tired. We were too tired. Excellent. Very good. Okay, number nine. Number nine, Lydia. Uh, how, how was the party? How was the party? Very nice. You missed it. Okay, yes, how was the party? Very good. Uh, Jose Luis, number 10. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, tell me number ten. They 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 were they were late for the interview. Okay, good. They were late for the interview. Okay, Carlos Sura, number eleven. Uh, you you were in the garden. You were in the garden. Okay, good. Gladys. What? Number 12. Okay. Um, what? What? Was? His, what? 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 was his name? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. What was? What was? His what name. What was his name? Okay, good. Uh, let's see who else we have. Aide? Number 13. Okay. It was not cold. It was not? It was cool. Cold. It was not cold. Cold. It was, well, it's negative, sorry. It wasn't. But it's okay. It wasn't or it was not cold. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, William. William Rosales, number 14. She was beautiful. She was beautiful. There you go. Okay, uh, Anna. Okay. The Letter 15? Yes, number 15. Uh, she wasn't my wife of the time? At the time, okay. Of yes. the time, sorry. At the time. Yes, very good. Uh, Luis Bonilla? Chris? No, oh, let's not there. Okay, Carlos, Laura, Laura is here. Laura, number 16. He was hungry. He was hungry. There you go. Jennifer? 
Why you be late? Why was? No, why? why you, where? Mm -hmm. Why were you late? Why were you late? Okay, very good. Okay, let's see. I guess Israel. Did you say a sentence? No. Mariela. Who? Oh, Israel. Oh, Mariela. Okay, Mariela. Why were Why were you late? No. Sorry. The next one. The next one. Number eight. Oh, it's okay. Um, you weren't early. You weren't early. weren't early. Okay, there you go. All right, and I guess we have Ricardo, Carlos. Did me? You tell me? Okay, who? Who's me? Who said me? Uh, Veronica. Okay, Veronica, go ahead. Uh, they weren't in love. They weren't in love. Yes, very good. Anybody who's missing? Me, Alexis. Okay, Alexis. Okay, there you go. Go ahead. Number we 20. were. We weren't uh, in China. We weren't in China. Okay. So you see, this is the idea the how to use the was and where. And now I think you are very clear, okay, with this, with this topic, right? Now we're going to move to another topic, always about the past. But now it's going to be with another uh, concept, right? So let's see, uh, Gladys, can you do me a favor and read the objective here? Okay. Will English conversational skill with the phrase you say to? Used you to. Can, used to. With you can, you say to describe your childhood, childhood? or past. Pardon? Yes, childhood. Child? Childhood. Childhood or past. By the end of the class, you will be able to form a statement neg negative and short as you say you say to learn English fra phrases class like I phrases like I you say to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I am very and I did you say to follow politics, politics, Politic. but now I read the newspaper every day and politics, but now I read the newspaper every day and oral English comprehension <laughs> exercise is included. Included, okay, very good, thank you. Okay, does anybody know about this topic, for example, what is used to, okay? For example, when we talk about a, the expression used to, okay, turn off, turn off your mics, please. Okay, mics, mics off, okay, thank you. Okay. Is the action in the past. It's an action in the past. And what happened with that action in the, the past? That the person, that the person made. Uh huh. When you, when you the person made. Okay. And what is the relation? I think like to the present. Uh -huh. uh, no, but sorry. Like Anna says, I think it refers to an action that we we made in past, but maybe at the present we not make more. Okay, very good. Yes, that's the idea, right? You get it? Like, for example, uh, things that we did in the past, but now we don't. Okay, yeah. for some reason. When, uh huh. Yes. Is yeah. routine in, in the mm -hmm. past? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is that routine in the past, Laura? And what happens mm -hmm. in the present? Um. 
I don't know. No more, but it's no, it's not. Uh -huh, we don't do anymore. Okay, it's everything in the past that we had, but now we don't have that with it. Okay? Uh, okay, okay. Okay, good. That's the idea. Okay. Thank you. Now, no, thank you. Okay, now we're going to see the, the video, the explanation, and after we're going to go to the practice. Okay, now please turn off your microphones so that you can listen to the, to the video. Just let me share my computer sound here, and here we go. I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used and after that I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences sorry, sorry. together. So, as a kid, by the end of this class you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid I used to be very messy but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. 
So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also, I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past. And now it's going to be in the present, and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't use to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm gonna say, I didn't use to collect anything, but I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports okay, but now I play every day so we can also make negative statements using never used to okay so the subject plus never used to and that's going to follow the verb in its present form and then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to collect anything. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to play sports. Did you used to have? Okay, before, uh, before uh, we practice this, I just want to uh, to emphasize this, if you see the first sentence here, I used to be very messy. I used to is the uh, things that we did in the past, right? The habit that we had in the past, okay? Then, that's why you see the verb used in past tense, okay? It's easy to confuse, for example, the in the structure when you say, I used um, a desktop to teach my classes before, okay? I used, but this is not used to, okay? I used a desktop, no, I used to. I used to use is different, right? So then, uh -huh. yes, don't, uh, don't confuse use and used to, okay? 
Then, sí. for example, I used only past tense. I used a desktop last week to teach my class. Now I use a laptop. Okay. Okay. So this is, you know, the that you are uh, using an instrument to do something. I use a pen to write letters. Now I use a computer to write letters. Okay. But this is when you have a, an instrument to do something. But now you can say, for example, when I was a kid, we used to do, we used to do our homework in the notebook. Now, but now, children do their homework in the computers, okay? So this is uh, things that have changed. Okay, this is affirmative or positive. The other one is, if you see did, it's the same rule, right? The same rule. Did you use, then when you, we use did, then we don't use the past tense. Okay, did you use to collect anything? Did you use to smoke? Did you use to um, uh, work every day? Did you use to go to school in the morning or did you use to go to school in the afternoon? Did you use to do your homework as soon as you came back from school? Or did you use to do your homework uh, a, after you had lunch or dinner? Okay, so different questions. And then the negative, I didn't use to collect anything. I didn't use to read the newspaper. I didn't use to, uh, let's say to, I didn't Practice use to, sports. sorry? Practice sports. Practice sports, uh-huh, yes, okay, you can use anything, okay? Oh, I never used to, uh, let's say, uh, go to parties on Fridays. I never used to go to parties on Tuesdays. I never used to go to the beach on Mondays, okay? So then, this is the, the emphasis. Present, question, negative, and negative, okay? See that when we use never, we don't use didn't, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Then, uh, Pat, did you used to play video yeah. games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. For example, I never used to collect anything. Perfect. Okay, good. Now uh, we're going to, uh, let me see, we're on the microphone, but okay, perfect. Uh, now uh, we're going to work in we're going to practice sorry we are going to practice and we're going to work in groups let me see yes groups of three okay seven we're going to have there will be two or three people, okay, in the groups, so that we can practice, okay? So then, this is the idea. I'm going to create, to create some groups. You will receive an invitation in this moment, and you're going to work with another person. There will be just one group with three, okay? And I want you to practice questions in the past tense. Where were you born? Did you used to do this? Using used to, everything in past tense, okay? With a With the partner that you're going to be working with. Okay, try to get as much information as you can from your partner, okay? Now, the information that you give, okay, to keep some privacy, you can invent, okay, no problem. You don't have to give true information, right? So you can, because remember that here, what we are doing is practicing, okay? So don't feel, you know, like, ah, oh, he's asking me personal things. Yeah, you can answer, but things that are not true, just to practice vocabulary, okay? Good. So I will uh, okay. I will create the sessions and then I will visit I will visit the groups. Okay. So we're gonna have like ten to fifteen minutes to work in pairs. Okay. Ready. Here we go. Okay. So it'll be.
Hey, Mariana. This difficult state. What? Okay. How are you doing? Any questions? I okay. just practice. All right. Okay. <laughs> just remember, for example, just say the things that you used to do. For example, Anna, what did you used to do, for example, when you were in primary school, when you were a kid? Uh, okay. When, when I was a, a girl, uh -huh. I used to, to uh, play with my brothers. Okay. Play soccer with my brother. Now, wow. I don't play anymore. <laughs> Okay, good. Exactly, right. That's that's the kind of practice, okay? Then everybody, okay. okay, for example, say what you used to do, okay? For example, I used to play, you know, I used to play soccer every day uh, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Because, you know, I was in the school in the morning, right? I went to school from 7 to 12. Then I ate lunch quickly, right? I used to eat uh, I just yes. do it lunch very quickly, and then I uh, did my I did my homework. I just mm -hmm. do my homework before I went to play, and then I had the whole uh, um, the whole afternoon free, and I used to play from three p.m. to seven p.m. every day in the street, you know, with my friends. But okay. I used to do that. Okay, then start telling okay. your stories. Okay, about what you used to do and practice. Okay. All okay, right. Teacher. Thank you. Churros. Hey, churritos. No more churritos. No, more, no, more, no more churros either. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> with lemon and salt. Oh, you used to eat that. Huh? Where? Uh, yes. In the school. What? In the school. In where, the school. Where, in the school? Uh huh. Where do you eat that? Where did you eat the churros with lemon? Um, jalapeño. Oh, with jalapeño, okay, good. With jalapeños. Uh, okay, and now do you do you do you like the jalapeños with lemon? Yes, okay. and we so, salsa inglesa. Okay, the, the, that's the sauce, right? The sauce. Sauce. 
So, okay, good. Excellent. Okay, uh, what are the things that you used to do, guys, when you were children? You know, for example, I used to, I used to play uh, a, a lot of games with my friends in the evening, like from 7 to to 8 or 9 p.m., right? We used to play, we used to play Robbers and Cups, remember? Uh, El Ladron, Ladron Librado, I think it's in Spanish, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We just, I used to play hide and seek, right? Escondelero too, I used to play hide and seek when I was a child. Do you play that? Did you play that? Hide and seek? Yes. Okay. Uh, what was the yes. answer? Pull, pull the onion, remember? Pull the onion. Did you? Mm -hmm. you know? Ah, yes. I used to play, you know, yeah. that with my friends, you know, pull the onion and then that was very nice. Uh, what else? We used to, I used to do my homework quickly after school and then I had the all the afternoon you know free and then I used to play you know a lot you know with my friends from I played I used to play soccer from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. and after you know I mean, that was only boys okay only boys then uh, from 7 to 9 p.m. all the girls used to go out and then we play you know Arranca Cebolla and hide and seek and then you had the chance to see your girlfriend if you had one and, <laughs> and like that, right? Okay, talk about okay. your past, okay? Talk, practice about your past with the group, okay? Share your experiences, okay? That you had in the past, okay? Good. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. Your simple past too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, here's the teacher. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. Yeah, we, we, were, we were making questions with you too, and now we are going to use the simple past. Okay, good. Now, another thing that you can do is just individual, individually you can share, okay, some experiences that you had when you were children, you know, using used to. For example, I was telling the other groups that when I was a, a, a child, I used to go to school from 7 to 12, more or less, noon and then i used to have lunch as soon as i got home you know eat very fast and then i used to do my homework after that and finish it and then i had the whole afternoon free and then i used to play soccer from like from 3 p.m or 3 30 p.m to 7 more or less every day with my friends only boys right and mm -hmm. then after that like from seven to nine you no, know, uh, a lot of girls came out to, I mean, in the neighborhood, to the street, and, the, and we used to play, you know, hide and seek, caps and rovers, uh, pull the onion, arranca <laughs> cebolla. We used to play all that. So we used to, we used to play all the seek. Hide and seek is escondelero. Uh huh. Exactly. Caps and rovers. It was a ladron librado, I guess, something like that. That's what we call it, right? And then uh, we used to, we used to have all these games, you know, with. Uh, with uh with i mean with all the kids from the neighborhood we used to gather from 7 to 9 p.m or less or 8 30. okay so we, then you can share those experiences too using used to, right okay, okay for example we didn't use to smoke in those groups for example we didn't use to smoke so that, that was a very nice environment okay we never used to uh for example to fight we never used to fight in those groups you know like hitting each other or something no, it was mm -hmm. very nice. Only share good experience. Okay? Practice. Okay. okay? Keep on practicing. Okay? We, have, we still have some minutes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay. And Javier? Hi. How was the practice? Good? Good. All right, good. Yes. Uh, did, did you share your experiences, your experiences from the past? Like, for example, yes. you know, I, I used to... You know, I used to go to the, when I was in high school, you know, I used to, I used to have, uh, let's say, uh, we used to have parties on Saturday afternoons, okay? Mm -hmm. We never used to have parties, you know, uh, during the week, right? Because we had to study hard, finish the homework, study. And then on Saturday afternoons, okay, we used to have, you know, uh, our parties, right? But in those parties, we never used to smoke or we didn't used to drink, okay? Only 
only sodas, right? Uh, no alcohol, uh -huh. no alcoholic drinks. Okay. Uh -huh. Now uh -huh. in the in the university, everything was different, right? <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah. The, the, the university changed everything. Okay. So you can share also those experiences, right? For example, the things that you used to. Okay, they used to do when you were in high school, when you were children. Okay, when I was a little kid, like nine years old, I used to go out in the evening with my friends from the neighborhood, and we used to play, you know, hide and seek. Yes, you know, it's called yeah. the battle, right? We used to play, huh? Uh, in my case, I used to go to the to the, I used to go to dance uh -huh. in okay. holidays or in my birthday. All right, good. So we, I, I used to go to dance, you know, when I was probably, when I finished high school and I started university the first year. You know, we yeah. ha I had more time after that, you know, I, I didn't have much time. So, but before that, I used to go dancing with my friends. After that, it was a different kind of reunion, right? <laughs> to study or to, or just to have fun, right? Yes, okay, and good. before quarantine, I used to go to the gym. Oh, okay. Now I have to do exercise in my house. <laughs> exactly, right? Me too. I used to go and play soccer, right? But now uh, we can't, right? We can't. Okay, okay. good. Well, keep on practicing and share your experiences, right? Okay, see you later. Okay, see you. Ten kilometers, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, when you, when were you prepared to practice a uh, run on the street or, or in mountain on, yeah? Uh, I never uh, run in a mountain, but I guess it's it's cute. It's nice, but I don't know. Okay. I did. I did oh. not. Uh, I seen. I seen. Very. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very, very well. <laughs> okay. I see very well. I don't know, but <laughs> but I need you. But but give give you the my opinion. <laughs> Good. Did, did you did, share, did you share your 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 experiences like when you were children? For example, you know, when I was a child, I used to I used to go out in the evening with my friends and we used to play high and sick Roja. right high and sick you know escondelero right? ah. <laughs> or we used to play, or we used to play uh, for example cups and rovers okay? so all ah. the things we used to play uh, a, how was the name of this pull the onion arranca cebolla you know and then we used, to, we used to play all these games, okay, these are things that we used to do, but now the children don't play those games anymore, right, in the street, because only yeah. in the school, maybe, only in the school, okay? Yeah. But okay. Continue okay. practicing, right? Very good. Okay. See you Thank in a minute. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Hi, teacher. Good. How was the practice? Um... Here, I, here. I'm <laughs> okay. trying. Trying. <laughs> did you share? Did you share your your past, your know, experiences? I was telling the other groups that when I was a child, you know, I used to I used to come from school and finish all my homework quickly. Okay, I used to eat lunch, you know, very fast, and then do my homework, and then at three thirty or four, I was free. And I, and I used to play, you know, soccer from 4 to 7 p.m. every day, you know, and then I, I used to have fun. And then after that, uh, when the girls came out from the house to the, to the neighborhood, we used to play, you know, uh, hide and seek. You know, that's better, right? 
and we used to we used to play a lot of games, you know, mixed with girls and boys. Right? And we used to do a lot of things like that. But now children don't do it anymore, right? So they they do other things now. Okay, so you can also share those experiences, right? Okay. Okay. Good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you have car expensive? Is possible? Answer? Repeat. Did you have cars expensive? Did you have an expensive car? Yes. Yes. Did you have an expensive car? Yes, I did. Okay. Now I have a cheap car. Okay. I used to have, for example, I used to have a Toyota. Okay. I used to have a Toyota. Now. I have a Mazda, right? I used to okay. have a Honda Civic. Now I have a Mazda. Okay. 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 Now we're going to come back to the main station. Okay. Okay. All right. How was that experience? Huh? Play uh, practicing with used to the past tense. Okay. So then uh, this is, you know, how you can uh, bring back some memories, right? About the thing. If you start using, remember that also used to sometimes can be used as a nostalgia uh, talk, like a conversation with some nostalgia, right? No, for example, I remember, okay, I remember when I was uh, seven years old, I used to visit my grandma in Sulutan, right? I used to visit my grandma in Sulutan. We used to go uh, more or less one once every month, okay? And when we uh, arrived to her house, you know, we used to climb, we used to climb the trees, and, you know, and to cut the mangoes, and then uh, we used to peel, to peel the mangoes, you know, green, green, you know, when they were really green, and then, uh, and they were sour, right, sour, and then we cut lemons, and then we used to, you know, to, to have these green mangoes with lemon, and we used to eat, you know, this uh, sour fruit all the afternoon, so then you remember these things, the things that you used to do, right, luckily, Luckily, or, or fortunately, um, I say we never used to we never used to throw the mangoes to the other. I mean, to, to our friends, right? Like some people did. Sometimes when you were in the tree, some boys used to used to grab the mangoes, and when you were up in the tree, they they threw the mangoes to the person that was in the tree, right? So they were naughty naughty boys, okay? So these are memories, right? These are memories that you can remember, the things that you used to do for Christmas when you were children, the things that you used to do for Christmas when you were teenagers, okay? The things that we used to do when we finished high school, the things that we never used to do when we were in high school, okay? So in all these moments is when we can, uh, you know, practice all these uh, structures, right? in the past tense okay yeah. so tomorrow i guess uh, we finish with this topic but in the beginning and then we begin the second the second uh, section right so we have a uh, just do the 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 check uh the knowledge check okay and tomorrow we're going to practice that and i will bring a couple of games more to practice the past tense okay hey, everybody Okay, it was a pleasure to see you. Okay. I didn't okay, feel, the, I didn't feel okay. the hour. See you tomorrow. Uh -huh. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.